Sony has confirmed that next generation console will be called the PlayStation 5 and it'll be out next year. Launching in time for holiday 2020, the company also announced several changes on the PS5. The chief among them is replacing the current rumble technology that Sony has been using since the original PlayStation for new haptic feedback technology that will offer a broader range of feedback. The Sony R2 L2 triggers on the PS5's controller. According to Sony, developers will be able to program the resistance of the triggers, giving the example that you'll be able to feel the increased tension as you draw back your driving through rough terrain. It sounds pretty similar to a Microsoft patent from earlier this year, which detailed a similar trigger system for a future Xbox controller. Wired got a hands-on preview with a prototype PS5 controller, which it looked at an awful lot like the ps 4s DualShock 4, although Sony isn't confirming if it'll call it the DualShock 5 just yet. Wired also confirmed that the PS5's controller will finally make the jump to USB-C as well as other refinements. In an interview with Wired, CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment Jim Ryan and PS5 system architect Mark Cerny gave some additional details about the upcoming hardware. There is ray tracing acceleration in the GPU hardware. Cerny said, clarifying the company's original announcement of ray tracing support and allaying concerns that Sony might resort to. The Wired interview also confirms that the PS5 will use the standard 100GB Blu-ray discs. Sony has previously confirmed that the console will offer a disc drive. This super-fast SSD is still the biggest update that Sony is showing off. Sony does promise that the SSD's improvements will be able to take up less space, though, which should help soften the mandatory installation requirements. Sony will also let developers break up the installation of their games, say, by installing the multiplayer components or just the single-player campaign on the PS5. PS5 is also a completely revamped user interface that will show off more detailed social features on the home screen. Sony promises that you'll be able to see and launch directly into a game, then a single-player level or multiplayer match. All of this information joins the existing details that Sony has already revealed this year. Like the 8-core CPU, which will be based on AMD's 3rd Gen Ryzen line, and custom GPU based on AMD's Radeon Navi hardware, 3D audio. Support the support for 8K gaming, as well as 4K gaming at 120Hz, much lower power consumption option, PS4 backwards compatibility, and that ultra-fast SSD. What kind of VR options do you know? Of course, what kind of VR options will look like or cost? But with the new holiday 2020 release date, it probably won't be too long before Sony starts giving some answers to those questions.